Charles. Charles. <laughs> Tell you about your takes. I actually am Ralph Charles Barth III. Three names for people. Ralph, Upchuck, and Barth. That sounds like Barf. <laughs> Third. Third person to have three names for beauty. We are at Black Cat Coffee. Where are you from? Here. Well, I was born in Houston. Texas. Moved here as a baby. Houston, Texas. Nice. What music did you listen to growing up? Punk. punk? Well, um, before punk, it was 90s R&B and hip hop. Really into that stuff. When I was a fifth grader, it was pretty hard. I was banging the streets real hard as a fifth grader. I was. Um, uh, really to Bone Thugs, Dr. Bone Dre, Thugs Bone Harmony. Thugs and Harmony, Dr. Dre for sure. I had my, I think my first CD that I, uh, no, the first CD I bought was Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, Can't Stop the Rain, the name of his album. I loved one of the songs on it too. I played it all the time. I was confused with how to my parents. Um, uh, then my second CD was probably uh, Sweet Dog. No. Really cool. Are these musicians found in your music at all, or? Um, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> not Shaq. Definitely not Shaq. But I try to, I'm so tall, like, like Snoop, you know, so I try to, I think we attain that same comment, so I usually own some of that. It's hype. Um, no, not really. So then what are your musical inspirations? Uh, you know, the, the punk thing is actually a real thing that still exists in my music. Like, I was, I came up like really, really, not like super like anarchy, but like, you know, I was really into the idea of what punk was, you know what I mean? And I still try to maintain that really alternative culture um, vibe in my career, you know? Okay, what's your new album called? It's called Shell Heart. Where'd you get that name? Uh, it's actually a Portlandia reference. Um, George and I, the other guy in the band, we have wasted a lot of hours in the studio when we were supposed to be recording, watching Portlandia on Netflix or, or whatever. We can clips on YouTube. And we both love Fred Armisen, the guy in, in Portlandia. And there's, this, uh, there's this sketch called Over, where they're running around town, or he's running around town and he's seeing all these things. Some square guys like going around doing a bunch of hipster things like drinking this cool bar, or he's riding around on a fixed gear bike, or he's doing shell art. And uh, so Fred Armstrong keeps uh, running around behind him like, this bar is over. Or fixed gear bikes are over. And he gives it to some kid. He's like, here kid, they're over. Have fun, you know? And uh, and we thought it was like a fun little uh, kind of a nod to like how fleeting trends are, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is kind of supposed to be self-effacing, like, hey, this is, we get it, this is all a big self, uh, this is a big fleeting trend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, um, how did you meet George? Uh, we were both, we both played in punk bands together in the same circles back, uh, back in the day. I mean, it must have been the better part of ten years ago now. Wow. We were both uh, in, like, pop punk bands and, and then, like, you know, emo bands, <laughs> Mars Volta copycat bands, uh, and all of a sudden, I don't know, we, he had always he had always recorded me, and, and, uh, and this time around he just did too much to not call me a band member. So. Right. so are there any musical plans such as tours coming up for you guys after you release this new album? Uh, we have a big speed release show going on. Crescent Ballroom nice. at, uh, on May 29th. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, I mean, I mean, all the focus is on that right now. So yeah. after that, that's the same. Everyone in the band is down to tour. We have six other guys who are going to help out live. 